And here is my favorite disease. Favorite, not because it's a good disease, because it's actually a terrible disease, um, but favorite because it's a particular research interest of mine. And folks are already putting it in the chat. A couple of different diseases. So I think it's worthwhile to talk through this one a little bit. So first of all, remember that I said all, he, all hematology is essentially the coagulation cascade and then the different uh, cell lines, red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets. And here what we're seeing is a lot of funny looking white blood cells. We see the red blood cells in the background, the way this image is sort of colored and contrasted. It's really highlighting the white blood cells. Um, so we're in the white blood cells. And then we ask ourselves, do, they, do these look like mature, fully differentiated um, white blood cells? The answer is no. And how, how can I tell? What are the features of these white blood cells that are telling me that they're not mature? They're not um, uh, well differentiated. And folks are already putting it in the chat. It's the very large nucleus relative to the amount of cytoplasm. It's the weird granulations, right? It's the overall size of the, of the blast here. They're very large. So I'm thinking this is an immature leukemia which means it's either acute myeloid leukemia or it's an acute lymphoid leukemia, AML or ALL. And folks have already pointed out that what we're seeing here in many of these cells are our rods, these long, thin, purple staining um, sort of rods in the cytoplasm. And it is for that reason that we can confidently say that this is an acute myeloid leukemia because as folks have been saying in the chat as well, these are made of myeloperoxidase crystals essentially, right? Now under normal circumstances, let's say that we didn't see a single hour rod and it was just a large immature cell and presentations consistent with uh, leukemia, I wouldn't necessarily be able to tell whether it's a, a myeloid cell or a lymphoid cell. There might be other clues. For instance, ALL, very commonly, um, you know, the age distribution more uh, on the younger side. AML, almost always a disease of those um, age 60 or over. Median age is about 65. So um, the age can help you a lot. The hour rods is a dead giveaway, but let me also tell you that in real life, kids can get AML. There's an association with Down syndrome, for instance. Um, and adults can get ALL. So these things aren't perfect. Just like everything in clinical medicine, it is a spectrum. And just to point out the hour rods, it's these thin rods here. In fact, this, these two cells here are chock full of them. all of these lines here are the hour rods. All of these, there, there might be a dozen hour rods on this cell right here, and maybe, maybe five to 10 on this one on the right. Awesome. Um, what translocation would I be looking for if I saw hour rods? I'm thinking AML. What translocation am I looking for? Absolutely, 1517. And what genes do those correspond to? I'm seeing some great answers in the chat. Here is one of the pain points, one of the pain points of hematology. It's all of the translocations. It's all of the different funky sounding genes. Um, so this one is actually PML RAR alpha, PML retinoic acid receptor alpha. The PML is on chromosome 15, RAR alpha on 17. When you put them together, you have this classic translocation. And now before I go to the next slide, one more question. What therapy is essentially curative for, for this disease? And the chat is going wild. Yes, it is retinoic acid. Um, the, the technical name for it is all trans retinoic acid. So we call it ATRA. And um, this is not something that will be tested on step one uh, or a complex but uh, it was Lococo and uh, colleagues in New England Journal a while back that uh, defined all transretinoic acid with another agent called arsenic, wild, I know, arsenic, um, that leads to incredible cure rates and transform this from a basically universally lethal disease to one in which many folks can make a full and lasting recovery. So just to, just to recap, acute promyelocytic leukemia, 
You've got a ton of our rods. The translocation is 1517. The treatment is all transretinoic acid. Everything below all transretinoic acid, that's me nerding out, not something you need to know. Arsenic and sometimes chemotherapy it's, if it's very high risk disease or targeting CD33. But you all are crushing it. <laughs>